What's going on, guy? How are we all doing today? What? He said he used my maximum people. Maximum is a Jeremy fragrance lingo word that he likes to use. Peachy, everyone's doing peachy. <laughs> We already got three likes. Okay. What was everyone sent of the day? What did we do? What did we wear? Jaleesa, look at the bed. I'm, I'm working here. Sorry. What's going on, Chris? What's up, Chris? No. No, I didn't buy that. God, no. You look like you're going for the Burt Reynolds from Deliverance. Well, at least I'm the one that gets fucked in the ass. Hell no. There it is. What's up, you fuck? Yeah, no. Boys, boys, boys. What do you hear? What do you say? What's up, you fuck? No, I very well indeed was Kansas Patreon for buying dumb shit. <laughs> no, I legit didn't buy this. No, I was sent this um, by one of the guys, one of my lovely guys in here. Um, and uh, I was expecting, uh, you know, maybe like a small fucking decant. Nice tan. Thank you. No, I know that was, I know Bert was the shit. He had the, 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 the bow, right? As long as he ain't the one that got fucked in the ass for good. It wasn't he? He was pretty handsome back then, too. Um, yes, sir. So, so here's the thing, guys. I do have Fragrance One Office for Men here. It's real. It's a real fucking thing. Um, Dan says hello, Jew. Hey. Your boy Duplo. Duplo? Is it Duplo or Duplo? I want to say Diplo. Like the fucking... Diplo. Hey, that's a nice fucking gift. Um, Those decanted, but it's full enough. It's... How do you like it? The brat sauce. Um, I haven't... I honestly haven't smelled it yet. I really haven't smelled it yet. The closest I did was take the fucking cap for the video. I refuse. I feel like... Do you guys want me to review it live right now? Or should I do an actual proper video? Oh, Canoli, we gotta talk. Guys, I I was not sent to... Um, a, they, they decanted some and gave you the bottle. That does. That does fucking say a lot, Chris. Absolutely, at least 20. That's more than enough. At least 20 mLs. That's more. That's more than enough. If my balls do drop, Tommy, I'll be sure to put them right in your mother's mouth, that fat pig. Uh, you want me to review live? Is this the first Jeremy Fragrance review? Um, Danny, I own three of them. My favorite is the Blue Cedar and Cypress. Is this the first live Jeremy Fragrance review of Office for Men. Um, initial impressions. Let's do an initial impression. Yes, review it. But the, Well, actually, I have a gas mask that I'm going to wear because I don't want to burn my fucking face. Um, I'm actually kind of scared to smell this. I can kind of smell it from the box. It's almost like Tommy's mother. Uh, you can smell her box from far away. Um yeah, I can smell it in the box. I knew the day was going to come, make my bones, but now I got to go to Wisconsin to do it. But don't put it close to your nose. Wind it out to your nose so you can smell the breakdown. Nice. I like that one in Silver Water and Birch. Haven't smelled that. Fuck, I can smell it in here. Tell Jules to color in the lines. I know it's hard for her. <laughs> Tommy's in here. That's oh, Tommy talking. 
So guys, be sure to share this. I need every single, even you, Tommy, I need every single one of you guys to share this live video because this, this is a live first impression. Honestly, I've not smelt it. How you doing, Jerry? I can kind of smell it through the fucking box. Spray that in Savage on paper. It's very uneventful. Don't worry about it. It's not Dodo. History in the fucking making boards. Are you going to build an altar to place a sacred bottle with the precious cap? I was actually thinking of shoving the cap up my ass for a review. I wasn't sure. Where's Juju with all this? Julissa hasn't smelt it either. She just found out it, when I showed her the video I, I uploaded that um, I indeed have Fragrance One uh, Office for Men EDP. I do, I do enjoy, I like this fucking Earth Day box he decided to go with. Um, you know, little cardboard, classy, I guess. Um, fragrance Uno Home for Men Ude Toilet. This is so exciting. I'm going to cream in my jeans. So, yeah, guys, the cat. The, I feel like um, the reason why none of, and I, I don't think anyone mentioned this in their reviews. Um, I feel like the reason why none of these bottles actually have caps is because they melt it from the fragrance inside. I think that's why they all kind of have a little toilet paper condom roll thing going on. Um, th the box is made from recycled toilet paper rolls. Maybe. What if Jeremy, what if the box is made out of all the toilet paper rolls from him jerking off? You know, he goes through so many. Uh, the cap melted off. That's what I'm thinking. I think all the caps melted off. By the way, 21 viewers. We need more people than this. We need at least 30 to 40 if I'm going to actually review this fragrance. If I'm going to fucking do a first impression, there's no going backs. Yeah, I, you, I like to sniff box. If this is what Jeremy's box smells like, I already know. Um, and I hope Jeremy fucking watches this. The world renowned. Um, so yeah, this is the box. I gotta be honest. I can I can smell it through the box. They said they couldn't find the perfect cap. <laughs> Biggest load of shit I ever heard in a while. I don't know. You know, let me uh honey, you wanna do me a favor? Yeah. You wanna go in the cologne cabinet and grab that Savage cap? I'm gonna put it on top here. Come on, honey, sort of review. Uh, come on. Oh, you know what? Let me improvise. I'm going to need... Can you get my, my uh, mask? I'm actually really scared. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first ever... The first ever... Oh, honey, come on. Okay, never mind. Julie's a disappointing the whole life. Stream. What am I doing? <laughs> I said. Jeremy Fragrance is actually upsetting my fiance. She's all, She's upset. Don't worry about it, honey. It's not a big deal. Uh, use code business pants to save 0.5%. Um, dude, what if Jeremy is in this room watching in a dark room? I hope he is. Joe, I see Polo Red Intense back there. Polo Red Intense is the definitive Polo Red scent. Not the original, not extreme. Red Intense is the best. Jeremy sure didn't charge like it was a prototype box to prick. Jeremy thinks box is an icky, doesn't spend too much time on it. You would think Jeremy would know his way around the box with all the models that he smashes. But for some reason, he gives back to the environment. Your dick's going to shrink and you're going to lose the accent. You know, if that happens, God bless. You know, I wouldn't even dare. So just from the box, let's review the box. I know Jeremy gets a little emotional when we talk about the box. You would have thought you were talking about, you know, someone close to him. Um, the box in your hand, it, it feels like a toilet paper. It feels like a proper piece of shit. Okay, well, it feels like an empty roll. Is he in? I'm waiting for Office for Men Intense. Your dick's going to shrink once again. So if, if, if I got to be honest, just smelling the fucking box, um, I was right. I was 100% right. This isn't a proper review. This is just a, a first impression. Um, this smells like um, the last decade of fragrances. Um, here's the problem with the guys that have done reviews. They all say it smells good. No fucking shit it's going to smell good. Do you actually expect it to smell bad? I didn't say it smelled synthetic. I'm not saying it smells niche or rich or, or you know. Exactly, Chris. Um, I get a... Uh, 
can smell the taint. All right, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to open it up. First impression, 24 viewers. I really wish we had more people watching this. Should I leave this live stream up or should I actually take it down? What do you think? His video that he deleted said best of everything. Ingredients, bottle, design, and packaging. And thank you for that, nuclear, because I was going to say the same thing. Um, where are my safety goggles? Oh, my God. Hold on. Actually, I, I wouldn't even dare. You want me to leave it up, Jerry? <sighs> okay. All right. Um, <sighs> is this good enough? Is this fucking, this is as good as I got for facial. Hey, where's my face mask? Let me, come on a second, boys. Office One vs. Victory Knox Unlimited. Jew. Julissa has not smelt it yet, neither have I. Um, You can't claim all that and not deliver, right? Exactly. Where's robes? That's why I said, should we wait a bit before I actually smell this for the first time in the history of fucking mysteries? I don't know. Make the review and post it later after your first impression. Holly looks like she's going to bite you. I think Holly knows that some fuckery is about to go down. I think Holly can even smell the fragrance. Babs. Shout out to Babs. So the box alone, I mean, the problem with Jeremy is he, I get it. When you want to be proud of your own product, because if I... Or any of you guys came out with your own fragrance, you would want to say only good things about it. However, however, you know this is like when a new um, um, a summer movie comes out and they go uh, the the biggest Holly. This is my this is Jeremy's fucking time, not yours. This is the equivalent of the biggest movie of the summer, but it's literally every movie, and then you find out the movie wasn't even that good. Juju doing intervention over here. So I have a feeling Holly be hating, yo. I've been, I, this, I would just message you personally, but I won't review it if I don't like it. Stop them before. The dry down is totally lame. Big aroma, chemical mess, fake musk, modern woods, whatever the fuck that is. What the fuck is modern woods? Is that like a uh, new age woods? Were these trees planted um, within the last decade? I got to be honest, guys. And I know I said this a few times. Wow. Just by smelling the box, um, fuck, I'm going to say it, a boring, boring scent. I'm used to wearing, now I get it, fragrance is subjective. I totally understand that. But the way he talked about this, I was expecting it to be on the lines with like um, Aventus how it was groundbreaking. Yes, it's like the last Jedi movie, Aqua Dijo in the 90s, a very polarizing scent that defined the decades. Just by smelling the box, this is not going to define the decade. Um, but this smells like, and, and hey, how shitty is this over tra uh, over hi uh, hype trash? It's not a shitty scent. But it's not as polarizing. It's very um, safe. It's very uh, basic. And here's the big thing, which I know really gets Jeremy hard, uh, is when people wheelchair gloves. Exactly. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get up once I actually smell this. I know Jeremy takes a lot of offense when people call it. Um, synthetic because he says everything that was used in it isn't uh she hasn't she hasn't smelt it yet and i haven't tr even sprayed it on yet i'm just smelling the box for some do i don't know did you spray this in the box by any chance it only lasted six hours on you smell your wheelchair pillow <laughs> um when I pay, oh God, we're getting 30 guys. We are in case you're new here in case you, you didn't spray the box. Okay. So this shit, it, 
I know. So it said it's going to melt your face off. Well, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if, if it gives me a tan. Um, I can actually smell it through the box. Um, so I'm assuming this is, it is strong as hell. Empty the bottle on yourself like you did with, wait until 40. I'm going to wait until 40. I want every single one of you guys, everybody in there. How you doing, Mr. Miami Cuddles? You changed your name. I need all of you guys to share this in every Facebook group that's ever been created. I want everyone to be here for this triumphant day. This is a big deal. Oh God, let me type that in for a second. Am I gonna be offended? Wait, this is Randy Savage. <laughs> Did you mean Randy Savage or Savage Randy? I need all you guys to spread this like syphilis, gonorrhea. I need you to, to, to hype up this live stream like Jeremy hyped up this fragrance. A lot of people paid a lot of money for this. Um, hey, Joey, congrats on the bottle. Thank you. Jeremy actually sent it to me. Will you clap? I may. Pour it on your face like they do when they win the Indianapolis 500. Oh, yeah, snap into a wheelchair. This is chaos. Should I? Where's beef? I don't know where beef is. How you, Joey? You bollocks? What's good, Andy? Clap, spin, and fart. I might, I might queef. No, Jeremy didn't send it to me. I'm talking shit. Um... I get, what do I have? Sassy Sense. Do you guys know who Sassy Sense is? You guys familiar with him? I have a, a X batch intense right here, which is, you know, pineapple vintage. So a lot of people like to compare that to Creed's Aventus. But the difference with the X batch is it's got a lot of Ambroxan. And uh, you're not going to stick around for this. You're not going to smell it with me. If you want me to. Of course. Guys, do you want Julissa not to X veg? Do you guys want Julissa to not be here when I smell it? No, there's a there's a bottle in here, guys. There it's not a cardboard box. It's kind of it it smells like uh yo, remember when Juju farted real hard on your video? Fuck off. It's it reminds me of a little bit of X Batch Intense by uh Yeah, like pineapple vintage. Um no, one of my lovely you bought it. Fuck no, Guinea. Or oh, I thought you had a bottle. Oh no, there's a bottle in here, guys. It's legit. It's legit. I, but the problem is uh 50% of it evaporated when I snapped my finger in the video. So half of the juice is missing. It's crazier than shit. Guinea, I suck the devil's dick. Girl, everyone farts. You going to sell it on eBay? No. I'm actually going to go to a lot of different bars, maybe do a public video, and get women's impressions. I'm going to give them the honest source. I'm not going to... Uh... <laughs> I'm reading, guys. I thought of X-Batch Intense, too. Good fragrance runner, because... That's what it kind of reminds me of. Think of like Aqua Di Gio Profumo with the Ambroxan of Sauvage with a little X batch intense. Um, it's funny because I used those six. I came in here late. What we haven't done it yet, Martin. We're trying to. We we haven't done it yet. So Guinea, and I'm glad you're here. I hope you stick around. Um, this is Fragrance One Orphis for Men by Jeremy Fragrance. Spray it. Come on. Oh, you guys. You guys, you got to let me hype it up. I got 38 people in here. Guys, hit the like button. What the fuck? I'm about to do a live first impression of Fragrance One Orphis for Men. I mean, this is a riveting moment. Holy shit, it jumped to 16. What a fucking treat. Guys, I mean, how many of in how many of you in here have smelt this? Put 69. Put 69 so I know how many of you guys actually gave this a whiff. 
Okay, Martin smelted. I should make a clone of Diesel Fuel for Life that smells like a more natural gummy bear and shit mixture. All right, so, okay, we got a lot of you guys in here. Perfect, perfect. Jerry, you too? Shit. Oh, I'm late to the fucking party. Okay. Little Rock, Arkansas. What a treat. Jeremy puts meat between his teeth. I'm going to give it a whiff with the box open. It's like smelling your girlfriend. Here we go. You grow into Wolverine beard? That's just how my 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 facial hair comes in, Guinea. I, 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 there's no way to control it. Spray it on. You're going to keep reviewing it for the next four hours. <laughs> Here we go. It's time to finally uh, destroy the body. One last time. How you doing, Jason? <sighs> I'm going to give this fucker a whiff. I can smell it through the box. It does pull. I like to keep you on the edge of your seat, and then I whip out the big shit. Here we go. I'm going to slide this out. Should I wait the 40? Should I wait the 40 viewers? What do you think? You may have covered this, but why did you purchase it? Uh, I was I did not purchase this. Um, I was sent this. Uh, let's start the fucking show. Wait until 50. I need you guys to really spread this shit around. And I hope you guys that are impatient, I hope you are waiting. I hope you guys are sitting here waiting. Jeremy sent it. Jeremy sent it to me. He slid into my DMs and he said, you know, it, I tried to send Sarah Harris a bottle. It didn't work out. I ended up sending it to you, Joey. So will you suck my dick through my business suit pants? I actually told him I would get them off while at the table. We didn't even have to go to the bathroom. I said, Jeremy, we can sit here. We'll order some fucking pasta vajou, some gabagool. I'll jerk you off with my fucking kneecap, you know, do like a little fucking bicycle kick. Uh, you know, shout outs to Sarah Harris. Um, is there a Ferrari in it for you? If I don't get a Ferrari, here's my thing. Is this going to smell? Is this supposed to like be Jeremy fragrance? Is this Jeremy's fragrance? Like, um, is this what his, I mean, is this Jeremy's nut? Is there like any way I could figure this out? Is this what people in Germany smell like? What was his inspirations? You know, what was his inspiration, guys? You know, we got UB40. Do a spin, fat boy. Hell yeah. Shout outs to them Fleshmans. Here's what I'm thinking. Fragrance one, office for men. Orifice for men. Tommy's mom lives office for men. You know, the thing is, uh, Tommy's mother, you know, sweet woman, heart of gold. Um, so ugly, even Jeremy wouldn't stick his dick in her. And that says a lot. I mean, this is. I feel like Jeremy will just about smash anything. And it, it, it's 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 heartbreaking. Got a sample weeks before. He put his HPV in the bottle. <laughs> Yo, am I gonna die? Jeremy's not sick. Inspiration. Alberto Morales paycheck. And here's my thing: Is this a Morales fragrance, or did Jeremy have a lot of control? Or do you say Alberto? You know, make something good, and I'll tell you when I think it's okay. Because if that's the case, I mean, this is a, Alberto is a very prestigious perfumer. I mean, if this is a boring and disappointing, I mean, that means Alberto not only let us down, but so did Jeremy Fragrance. Uh, this is crazy. Remember he didn't make it? Just paid someone. Dude, Jeremy has no control in that. See, I just want to get the conversation going. I bet Jeremy had very little to do with the actual perfume in a bottle, except just approving what Morales did exactly, Joey. That's what I'm thinking. So, it, what you're going to give Juju the Jeremy HPV if you spray yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I mispronounced more eh, s, more s. Eh. More eh, asa, more eh, asa, asa. Uh, there's no so much technique in practice. It's fucking nuts. He made a ton lately. Money grab, train into retirement. I'll never buy a future. Jeremy's doing a Brazzers video of him using a cap on himself. It probably smells like kraut and wieners. Yo, if this doesn't smell like a bratwurst stick, I'm I don't I wouldn't even dare. I might just throw it in. I'm gonna send it to Jeremy. I'm gonna send it back to him. Oh, wait, 
We're doing it again. Roll the R. Oh, you know, I can't roll my tongue. It never works when I try to use it on Julissa either, so it's not going to work out. Do you have CK Ol? It has a lot of ingredients in common. Morris. Morris. I bet money Jeremy's in here. I want to grab that Polar Red Intense back there. Jeremy, the closet bandit. Use it as lube. So here we go. It's in my hand. This is the amount of juice left. It's more than enough. More than enough to get a first impression. It's more than enough to fucking spray it on people. More ass. That's what I'm going to call him. Dude, Tommy said do a spray. Yeah. Yo, he did. He legit. Can you fit into the cap? Here we go. So I don't know if this is Jeremy soft or hard. We'll find out. That's hot. Look at that. How do I look inside Jeremy's cap? Do I look like I drive a Ferrari? Hey, I'm driving a Ferrari. Tension is rising. So there's more than enough juice in this bad boy. More than enough juice. Fragrance one. If It's a heavy bottle. I wonder if... Uh, Sarah, like, if, if she was to throw this, if Jeremy was coming after her, would it actually hit him and knock him out? Jeremy Thimble Dick Fragrance. Bought a sample and not impressed. You look you like you drive a bus. You look like you drive a bus. Uh, you still have vulva. I wish I did. More like tortillas. Tortillas? Try throwing the bottle at Julissa. You look like a biker. The first edition of Office is technically a tester. Is enough juice to plastic to you guys are savage. We're almost to 50, guys. One more to 50, and then it's happening. Heavy bottle equals quality. Or maybe all of the quality went into the glass. It, it, it's kind of like um, the one, right? Doesn't this remind you of the one, Julissa? Take a look. Yeah. Yeah. So this is how it came. <laughs> look at this. Spray that shit, homie. Oh. Five more, guys. Five more, and you get the first impression. Julie, do you want to smell it first? You want me to smell it? Um, you smell it first. When I snapped my finger, half the bottle disappeared. So that's why it's drained. Five more what? Likes? Nope. Five more view. Well, six more. I want to hit 50 viewers. Office one, the fleet. Tell Juju to get her friends to watch the stream. <laughs> I have no friends. We have no friends. 100% uh, German semen. That sounds delicious. Last video was so funny. I'm I'm disappointed that Joy isn't here, that um, Marx isn't here. BP Wool, little Brad. Guinea, you still in this motherfucker? I wonder if this is like I'm worried about BP Wool. I wonder if this is how um, toilet paper rolls in Germany look. I wonder if this is how they wipe their ass. Like they take a little strip off and they just gently dab their fucking sphincter. He's not here. We should check on him. We should. I'll stick my finger in my ass and smell it the same time you smell fragrance one to get a similar experience. Your room might explode from the radiation. Yo, is this like some Chernobyl shit? Joy has been MIA on here. He has. Put one of your creed caps on a bottle, at least temporary. Where's Fragrance Bros? I don't know. I miss them a lot. Um, What a treat. Joey's too busy buying and reviewing fra or fragrances after he said he was stopping buying and reviewing fragrances. It's a German butt plug. What would you guys do with this? You know, I know Jeremy talks about it. Like, this is, you know, throw it in the trash. Well, recycle it. <laughs> is this 100% recycled? I got to be honest. I have to be honest. Just from smelling it from the bottle, I really thought it was going to be better. Um, Jacob, what's good? I thought this was going to be like more like, oh, fuck, like, damn, as as fucking controversial as he is, he came out with a fucking banger. Just from the bottle, it smells OK. Not something like a dumb grab, something that you wear, like you don't want to wear your good shit, but you also don't want to wear like your least favorite shit. 
So you're like, I'm just going to wear, you know, office for men because I don't want to use any of my good shit. Um, it's a cast for your cock after it shrinks. I'd stick it in Jeremy Mom's pussy to give it a new cavity. That's a little savage. Now, how many of you guys did your homework? Um, what is this fragrance going for right fucking now? What is his current price? I know he never tripled it. Three hundred? No, is it three? One sixty-eight, one sixty, one eighty. We got a bunch. Of, it's a support for hamsters that break the lake. <laughs> one ninety-seven. All right, guys. I don't know which one to fucking listen to, but two forty. We didn't ask how much your mother weighs, Tommy. Fuck off. Hold on a second. Ah, uh, one ninety-seven. So two hundred bucks. You fucking kidding me? Um, this is a your mother abuses you. Don't report your mother, Tommy. She's trying to fucking help your little savage ass. This is from the cap. This smells like uh like eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Hands down. If this is how it's if this is what the opening smells like. Dude, how stupid is he? He tried to jack the price and went bad, and all of a sudden he doesn't triple the price. It's crap for the asking price. Yeah, um, if this is going for $200, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of good shit you can get for $200 that is going to make women actually... I'm hoping that on my skin it smells better. I, I do want this to smell good, but I can already tell from like the, the 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 fucking sprayer that it's not amazing. It's not on Aqua Digio. It's not Aventus. It's not Blue Day Chanel. Um, this is like a. It smells like a Frankenstein fragrance. Like you took a bunch of DNA from like mass crowd uh, pleasing fragrances and was like, yo, I'm going to take a bunch of the, the good shit. What is this? I smelled a lot of fucking cologne over the years, guys. What's up? Fucking beef curtains. $200, one point, Dylan Blue. Yeah, exactly. Two more guys, and I'm spraying it on my skin. Come on, you pricks. Where did I get this beef? Sarah Harris sent it to me because I, uh, me, her, the FBI, we all collabed. Genny, I'm going to tell you right now because I feel like we have similar taste. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't stink, thank God, you know. I didn't expect this to stink, but I did expect it to be, uh... yeah, I, God, I don't want to call it fucking generic. Thank you, Tommy. It's not that it's generic. Eh, maybe it is. Office fragrances should be generic. Office fragrances should be boring, right? It's an office. You're not trying to get hit with a sexual harassment fucking lawsuit. You don't want to walk in wearing like fucking pure Havain or some shit, you know? At least the vintage stuff. Everyone hates on Blue Day Chanel. I fucking love... I have vintage EDT Blue Day Chanel. Oh, God. Spray it on already, for fuck's sake. Oh, my God, Nukila. Hold on. There's so much shot out there. Fuck it. It'd be hard to groundbreak. And Blue Day Chanel is amazing. I've worn fragrances that... Uh, Orphis for Men, I love that. I've worn fragrances... You know, if you look at my my cabinet, okay, I got everything from cheapies to low-end designers, celebrities to high-end designers to a few niche, okay? Juju showing off some cake. I guess so. Enjoy the show. Two more pricks, two more viewers, and I'm spraying this shit on. Dan, you're doing great. 
One more. I got some English Laundry. What is that? English Laundry London. London. Is Juju dead? I think, uh, did, does Juju fart in her sleep? I'm pretty sure she does. Yeah, we got to build some crazy hype. It's not bad. It's just not worth all the ca cash. It's basic. I'm fucking eating all my candy. Um, no, just from smelling it out of the, the sprayer, um, it's it's... And I'm not. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be 150 percent honest. Um, if it was an eighty dollar price tag, I'd say it was worth eighty bucks. I wouldn't call it like a high. I mean, this isn't like if you had Office Orifice for Men, Blue Day Chanel Sauvage Creed Aventus, and then threw in like. The fucking X batch intense. It's just an Ambrox and bomb. One more, you pricks. One more. Would I pay those 80 bucks? No. And I'm gonna tell you why I wouldn't. If you didn't own, if you didn't own any of those crowd. All right, here we go, boys. Julissa, we were at 50. I'm gonna spray this on my fucking skin. If I get the fucking hiv. No, we're at 50, boys. Let me finish what I was saying. If you didn't own Savage, Blue Day Chanel, any of those heavy Ambrox and Dylan Blue Coach for Men, um, fucking Faragamo, X-Batch, Aventus, Club Nuit Intense, goddamn London, I would say pick it up. For 80 bucks, pick it up. It's 80 fucking bucks. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Jeremy, you fucking prick. No, I was just fucking with you. Um, I, boring. I'm sorry. It's boring. Um, he hyped up his shit too much. He hyped up this fragrance way too much. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell fucking bad. I would. It's. It's not maximum. It's not brutal. 80 bucks tops. Maybe get some VIB points at Sephora. Uh, it's, he said that it was supposed to be really fucking strong and in your face. Five. Five out of ten. But, you know, the guy has his own fragrance. Good for him. He made his money. He's doing great. Um, it doesn't stink. I, I, Yeah, it's as mediocre. It's the sex you have where you do come, but it's not memorable. But it doesn't stink. It doesn't stink. Doesn't smell bad. Um, yeah, it's no Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch, Aqua Digio, those two are some of my fucking... Uh, those two are, are top five fragrances of all time. And... Citrus? What is that? Or, uh, orange? No, no, no. Not orange. Um... Bergamot, right? Bergamot, Ambroxan. Um, I 
I'm kind of sad. I was it's it's kind of boring. Um. Julissa, baby, no. come here. I sprayed it on. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. We got 52 people in here watching. They've been looking at that cake this whole time. I sprayed it on my fucking skin, honey. Where is it? Let me spray it on you. No, don't spray that shit on me. Okay. It's okay. Right? It's okay. Doesn't stink. No. Does it remind? Like from Walmart. <laughs> Smells like something from Walmart. Those room sprays. Oh no, Jaleesa says it's what kind of room spray? I don't know, like that Playboy one or something. Isn't that what, like those those in those imitation ones? Fuck, she said the imitation, like like um, like bod. It's okay. Like it smells good, but that's it. Well, that's the thing. Here, here's here's the thing, guys. Here, look at everyone left. Here's the thing. Um, it smells good. Thank God. Thank God. Right? It smells good. But this isn't gonna make women turn their heads. You know, Jeremy is such a fucking primal man. Jeremy's such a primal man that you would have expected this fragrance to just... Like, here's the thing. Are you wearing the fragrance or does the fragrance wear you? Sticking to... Yeah, Dior... We got to swap decants. Dior Home Sport 08 is light years better than... Fragrance one office for men. I'm sorry. I I do not hate Jeremy. I rip the guy to shreds as you know when I make my my jokes. It's not meant to be personal. I'm not trying to hurt his fucking feelings, but I call shit out. I make fucking jokes. I know I do my parodies. This is an $80 fragrance. It smells good. But if it was if I was at Macy's and I had Blue Day Chanel, Aqua Digio, Issy Miyake. I would pick all of those over this. Um, just because it's too boring for me. It's way too boring. Uh, Aventus is better. Hell, I think Club New Eden Tent smells better. That, that probably sounds a little mean. I think Issy Miyake, like vintage Issy... It's very similar to this, guys. This X batch intense, um, really heavy on like ambroxan and citrus. Uh, it hasn't even settled down on my skin though. Like it still smells like the opening. So that's if the opening is everyone's favorite part, then congratulations. Uh, are people just kissing ass? Are they afraid to be honest? Cause like it does, it doesn't stink. It doesn't stink, but it's not. I actually wanted it to smell better than it did. I actually wanted it to like blow me out of the water. So I could be like, fuck, like this guy made like a, a new fragrance, like a fragrance that's gonna like pop ass. Um. I don't know what else to say, guys. Should I even do a review? <laughs> um, it's definitely got some oil in this motherfucker. You know, let me let me pick it apart. Let me try to find the good things and the bad. 
Those cucks in Milan were too scared to say shit. Jeremy caught them off guard and called them out to smell it. It's like when you got to play fake with the faker. Cannoli's depressed. Well, all of the reviewers that are trying to make their own fragrance are hanging from the scrote. Yes. Slap Jules' ass really hard. Anticlimatic. I'd rather buy Prada loam. You're going you're gonna to sell it. No. No, I'm not going to sell it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like wear I'm going to I am going to wear this. I'm going to see if it does get compliments. If I want to hear what women have to say and men. Um, have you seen how many fragrances he's done? He probably knocked this out of the shitter. I'm going to pick up that Polaroid intense. Tom, I hope they do. It's really good, Jerry. Um, Joe sent me his a little kiss ass bitch. If okay, so like if Jeremy was in front of me and he said Joe, Joey, Joey Cannoli, does this smell bad? I would be, I'd look him and I say, no, it doesn't smell bad. But if he was like, tell me what you think, the first thing I would say is it doesn't smell bad, followed by a butt, <laughs> followed by a butt. Um, to all you guys. Oh, hell yeah, bro. I, I, I'm eating the booty. Um, To all you guys that want to smell this and want to decant and want to buy... It's it's not worth it, guys. It's not. It's not. If it was something that was really, like, groundbreaking, you know, like if it was the new Aqua Digio, the new Aventus, you know, or if it had the balls like Fahrenheit did in the 80s, I would say, yo, this is worth a buy. But the... the I mean, I'm sure a lot of hard work went into this and money and time, and I, and I, I totally get that. But um, this just isn't – this just isn't um, – it's okay. It's just uh, – it's another cologne. Put it this way. If this – if this was my, like, top shelf was the best, right? If this was the best, I would put it third with like Mambo, CK1 Summer, shit like that. Uh, fuck. You know what? Did you really – wait. I wonder what Demi thinks of it. Is she going to pitch it like Pacific Cock Moss? Are they – are the – okay. I – it's – God, I really hope I don't fucking offend anybody. No, I don't. I don't give a fuck. Um, Cremo has a fragrance called Blue Cedar and Cypress. Smells really good. It's only $20 for 3.4 ounce. It's on the same spectrum as this. That's me being honest. I never said it smelled like shit. I'm not bashing the guy. Um, big ups on him. He made his money. At the end of the day, if it was us... And we made all that money, we'd be fucking happy. Maybe his next fragrance is gonna be a little more adventurous. Maybe it's gonna have a little more bulls. This ain't someone, this doesn't smell like someone. This doesn't smell like his personality. Does that make sense? Yeah, I would I would say $75, $80 this fragrance is worth. I'm happy with Alexandra. Cremo smells really good and perform well, but they all do have a very synthetic like mug. Yeah, well that's just, that's the thing. Um this is very <sighs> So TJ Maxx, if you guys have ever been to TJ Maxx, they they kind of have those very miscellaneous room sprays for like three to eight dollars that come in very heavy glass bottles one might be like tea tree and mint one might be like sandalwood one might be like fucking bergamot in woods this reminds me this would make a good room spray this would smell good in a car it's just clean uh it's not uh It's a welcoming a welcoming fragrance, but when you are a fragrance collector or reviewer or someone who enjoys fragrances and then you smell this, it's nothing new. And that was the only thing I was hoping. I was hoping that it, this would be something like 
new, something really different, really good. Uh, let me read you guys' comments. I filmed people in the mall today, a lot of good reactions, to be honest. Some over the top, I was surprised. The casual goers really like, well, that's the thing, Runner. Um, people are going to like this, absolutely. This is a, this, this is a mass appealing crowd pleasing safe fragrance it's it's your savage blue day chanel aqua digio realm where the majority of people that smell it are going to be like yeah that smells good um so yeah no it definitely it smells good it's just um there's nothing sexy about it there's nothing mysterious it's just very boring uh, you woke up you took a shower you sprayed it on you're wearing white t-shirt a pair of jeans and fucking tennis shoes and you're going to the grocery store that's that's the kind of fragrance it smells like. I don't work in a fucking office um, or an orifice for that matter. So I don't know. Would this be good? Sure. You should have just called it Fragrance One. Just Fragrance One. No office for men. No fucking slogan or saying. You should have just called it Fragrance One and left it up. Because I feel like when you mentioned office, you gave a lot of fucking people room to form opinions, make jokes, and have, you know, a conversation. You should have just called it Fragrance One. Hey, Joey, maybe add some coconut and call it Office for Men's Summer Edition. Pacific Cock Moss is better than Frag One. You just made me cream on my pants with that comment. Did you review Specific Cock Moss? Never smelt it. Office Space by Cannoli. Love that. Doesn't smell... Does it smell douchey? No. It doesn't smell like a bro dude fragrance. This is... High school and college scent to me. It's not... Doesn't smell... I, it's very um, everyday bro. I feel like uh, I feel like Jake Paul would smell like this. You don't make an office fragrance for that price. Absolutely not. How much do you reckon he had to pay for this? Maybe that's why the price is nuts. I don't know, Zen. Joey, buy CK all. Then you will smell how much effort he put into it. He pressed enter on Cloud Intelligence. Yo, Savage. Let me keep reading you guys' his comments. It smells like the crap they spray in stores at the mall. I have to get back to the word. Have a good night. Yo, thank you for watching, my dude. It doesn't make your balls tingle. Bingo, Joey. Meh. Vodka and OJ welcome in. Oh, you know what it reminds me of when he said vodka? It kind of reminds me of like a mimosa. Like a champagne and orange juice. Like with that bergamot. Yeah. Testicles. It's a mass pleaser like Jeremy's channel. That's it. No risk. Just a basic people. Office for <laughs> office for bumps. <laughs> He's making clubbing for men soon. That's what one girl said. Smells like teenagers. It does. It smells like... Uh, it was destined to be mocked after all this crazy ass behavior. I hope he drops spin move Uda Parfum. Not sure why an everyday office scent should be maximum. It definitely doesn't burn my face. I put what two sprays on each each wrist. It's not overly strong. Um It's already turned into a skin scent. How long's it been, guys? Has anyone I've been live for 54 minutes. 20 minutes. Well, I'm going to good I'm going to finish training my cat to use the toilet my biggest accomplishment in life. I had a feeling you'd have this reaction this fragrance when I've been here and later Joey my main. Oh hell yeah, Guinea. But Guinea before you go, if you guys have smelled Sean John's 3 a.m., it's very similar to that. Like the opening. Now I'm sitting here Wondering like Xbox, 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 X batch intense. Um, it's harder for new business to make a profit without charging more. Send a sample to Daver. I sprayed it on me the same time you did, Martin. Um, I don't even know if I want to do like a proper review. Should I? 
I feel like I kind of reviewed it. It wasn't even a first impression. I feel like I put this back in the box. <laughs> Up on the shelf it goes. <laughs> um, smells good. Boring. Nothing groundbreaking. Nothing iconic. <laughs> Nuclear. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do bar reactions. The top notes are dying away. The dry down is good. Love your live streams, bro. Can't wait for the next. Oh, hell yeah. Make a theatrical review. I should, shouldn't I? Um, I really appreciate I really appreciate you sending it to me, though. It does smell good. Um, Put it this way. Here's the problem. I would never buy it, but since it was free, I will, I will wear it on occasion when I don't know what else to wear. It's one of those scents. Um, but maybe this might give me a bunch of fucking compliments. I I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, Sha Sean John's 3 a.m. kind of has that opening vibe to it that kind of reminds me of that. I don't think my nose is that fucked up, you know? <sighs> Fragrance 1, Office for Men. Okay, well, you should send a decant to Dave or he already hates you anyway. Greek love. <laughs> no, I'm sure Daver's already smelled this. Daver fucking loves Jeremy. Come on. Um, That was the white one that looked like Unforgivable, What? right? It was like the same bottle shape. I think I smelt it when it first launched. I'd rather smell Julissa's ass right now. You know, Will you continue to wear it if it attracts large men? <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to take it to the gay bar. Make sure you ask Salt Shaker Tits what she thinks. So, guys, now that you've seen my honest, legit first impression, have not smelt it, what did all you guys think? Yeah, Frosted Glass, yep. You know what's funny, Duplo? Um, you sent me, what is it, Lowy 7? I hope I pronounced that right. That smells light years fucking better. Light years better. And it definitely has a jubilation vibe. But that's like a fragrance that almost is like cozy. Something that makes you want to snuggle with your loved one, you know? Makes you want to get close with somebody. This, this is like I'm going to the store. Let me throw something on. Does Diddy still make cologne? I wish he did. I actually liked a lot of his. Didn't last half my work day. Fuck. You can do Al from Street Sense deal and go around seeing what. That's what I think I'm going to do, Sandy. Sounds like generic garbage. Beef, it's not worth the interest, in my opinion. This isn't something that... Um, this isn't something that you should venture out to smell. This isn't something you should spend a lot of fucking money for. This is crazy. This is like driving a G-Wagon, but it's like one of the, like a G-Wagon that you would get by your five-year-old from like Toys R Us. You know, like it it could have been, it wanted to be, but it, it, I don't know. This This right here, guys. Smells a million times better. Um, completely different scent and style. That was pretty nice. Yo, Guinea, what's good? Yeah, no, Scott, legit. Um, Ju Julissa, Julissa knows that I do a lot of like jokes and I'll talk about Jeremy and make fun. And just shoot, you know, break his balls. But I think if it actually smelled good, she would have been like, oh, wow, that was better than I thought. She would have been honest. She smelled it and went right back to bed. She said it smelled like a fucking make sure she's breathing. She's good. I can see her ass shaking. You know, I, just, I think Diddy wears Taylor Swift and pretends it's Beyonce. I got to ask you guys. I'm very... 
that is Polo Red Intense. The best Polo Red in the entire line. So, James, I recently found out who Wacky Jackie was. I did not, Chesty. Uh, I was sent this from a real Cannoli Mafia member. Really appreciate it, too. Love Coca Rico. That really grew on me. Guinea blends. The top notes for office must be chloroform based on Juju's reaction. Yeah, to all you guys that want to get your nose on it and and haven't, it's it it's the it's hyped up too much. It's very lackluster. It's like if you want to see Avengers Endgame and and it, it wasn't good. Does that make sense? Like it was hyped to that extent, and then all of a sudden it's just like. Uh, and yeah, that was okay. Put it this way. If you guys are big Avenger fans, I know that's a very popular, you know, American cinema thing now. But this was the Age of Ultron fragrance. It wasn't Avengers. Sure as hell wasn't Infinity War. And it wasn't Endgame. It was fucking Age of Ultron. That's the disappointment. It's born. First time wear at home. Longevity 8. Fast nose blending after several wears. Now it's. Where'd you get the bottle? It was sent. It was sent to me, Jacob. Oh, by the way, Jacob, that Molecule O2, that Pure and Broxen, yeah, definitely, Jacob. Definitely similar. You hear that, fuckers? Guinea blends. I'll try it, Pooley. Exactly, Scott. It gets a bad rap. It was the weakest among all the films, which means it was crazy overrated. Like, this fragrance was overrated too much. Like I said, if you're you want to hype up your your company, your your I'm sorry, not your company, but like your fragrance, your brand, your creation, you want people to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's Savage without any pe like. I like citrus frags. Big fan of. You know, Dior Homme Sport 08, little ginger, little citrus. I love 3AM. I like, I do like Ambroxan, but it's just, I think you did, Jacob. I think you did. I think you definitely did. I like keep smelling myself, hoping that like something's going to peek through and surprise me, but it's very like linear. I'm kind of bummed out, guys, because no, Straight to Heaven was, uh, yes, memorable, absolutely. Actually, everything you sent me, Jacob, was fucking fantastic. I just, like I said, as far as, like, the reviews go on it, I reviewed a few of them, but I'm trying to find, like, a proper time and a place to wear those motherfuckers. Um, would you wear that to a Micker's date? Absolutely. I would spray this in Dan's hat. Odd that he did a bland office scent. If Joe Malone does bergamot and Broxen, should I just tell everyone that it's office for men? Yes. Staring at to heaven extreme as a shit. But yeah, Jacob, I fucking love all those. You know which one really I, I really enjoyed? That one that's supposed to smell like an old church and shit. I think it's a woman's perfume. I think it was your girl's or your wife's. That actually smelled really fucking good. Big fan of that. You're bummed. I bought a bottle. But that's what I'm saying, nuclear. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'd be even more disappointed if I paid for a bottle. It's not a bad smell, but it it's not worth... It wasn't worth, like, a pre-order. It wasn't worth that crazy price. $200? This is an $80 cologne. It should be up there with the designers. And not even a high-end designer. Like, that... $80 gap, not like a 125 About an hour? Club New Eden Tents, man. The birch, the smoky birch and the, the wood. Is it worth 15 minutes? It's, yes, it's worth 15 minutes of fame. Dude, those peeps paying for a bottle whack. Always sucks when... Juju's face down, ass up. Joe's talking, Jeremy, so he don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, it does kind of suck. 
Because I know I break the guy's bowls, and I know he said a lot of stupid fucking shit and done a lot of strange things, but I was actually hoping that this would be, like, on the level of, like, a Aquadigio, like I said, Aventus, Chanel, Savage, even Fahrenheit, you know, even fucking Dracar. Like, something that can stand the test of time, something that's very new, um, that kind of has that swagger to it. And it's just, it just is it's nothing. It's just okay. It's a... It's a meh. It's a meh for me. But don't... If anyone says it stinks, they're just talking mad shit. Yeah, think of like YSLY. Think of Coach for Men. It's that type of fragrance. I've smelt this style so much in the last few years that it doesn't do anything for me. He's the best way to put it, boys. And girls, if there's any. If... Savage and Blue Day Chanel and all those crazy Ambroxan crowd pleases from the last decade never came out. This would be a Blue Day Chanel. Like, this would be up there with Savage. But since we already have all of those, this is kind of like knocked down so many tears for me that it's like I would never buy this. Uh, I wear light blue for women. I like Coach for Men. It's once again, Coach for Men smells good, but it's not, it would never make a top list. You know what I'm saying? Office for Men isn't going to make anyone's top fragrance. Well, yeah, uh, you know, exactly, High Cap. He's going to make his fragrance, it's going to be successful. Good for him, legit. Um, I'm hoping <clears throat> that it's better than this last offering, but what are you going to do? That's a good, that's a good question. That's a good fucking question, nuclear. Um, if you're Alberto, would you make a product better than your own masterpiece for someone else? That's the thing. I think Jeremy mentioned, like, if you shit on his fragrance, you're shitting on Alberto. Like, oh, my God, like, he's using him as a bulletproof vest or, like, a Bible for an exorcism. Yeah, no. You know how many big perfumers have made fragrances and they've been duds? Look at Lagerfeld. Feld. Don't want to fucking offend anyone. Um... What was that one? Lagerfield for Men that came out? People completely destroyed it. But then he had, like, the classic Lagerfeld. Am I pronouncing that wrong? Let me look. Yeah, Lagerfeld. He had the classic Lagerfeld that is, like, an iconic, you know, OG fragrance. So, like... Thank you. If all those fragrances had an epic shake fest and that was the smell left after on the sheets, yes. Make it fit in what's hot right now. That's what I mean. MFK, exactly. Oh, by the way, Casino Royale, fucking. I have a small lucky scent. Classic Lagerfeld is good. That's what I was talking about, Victor. Like, that's, that's iconic. That's an iconic fragrance. But. Granted, that was, I don't know. And that's the thing. Every, I mean, look at YSL. They did, um, what is that called? Curls. They did Curls Silver, and that was a flop. Even though I liked it, it was a flop. No, 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 no. I have a, um, like one of those little Lucky Scent samples of Baccarat Rouge. And then I had a <clears throat> Casino Royale. And I did them side by side. And I was like, fuck. And then Julissa loves Ariana Cloud. So it cracked me to fuck up. Speaking of the cloud, look at the cake pop in the back. Um, I don't know, guys. 
appreciate all 37 of you to still fucking uh to still sit here watching this. I had to take it out just to smell it again. I'm watching that cake. <laughs> I am looking forward to cool water intense. Yeah, I don't know, Dan. I uh I'm like sitting here with my thoughts trying to find Is it complex? I've seen so many videos of all these different reviewers or even the one with all the guys sitting together that were at Essence talking about this fragrance saying we're going to get all this hate because it actually smells good. Yeah, it smells good, but it doesn't deserve all the hype it got. I do. I, I want it. I kind of want it to be caught off guard. Like I wanted him to finesse my ass and to be like, yo, this actually like he made a really great smelling fragrance. But then I'm like, yo, this guy like this just isn't. What the fuck were all the, are these reviewers? Do none of them have any backbone? Are they all pussy or what? What is this about? If I would have ran into Jeremy, I would have smelt him like. You made a fragrance that smelled good. Great job. Legit. You know, high five, Jeremy. You made a fragrance that smells good. But that's all it does. It just it smells good. It just smells good. Anyone that says this stinks is just talking shit. They, they, they legit, like, hate the guy. Um, I think the hype ruined it for me. I think his own hype ruined it for me. Fuck what all the other reviewers said kissing his ass. I think all of the videos he made and the things he said and the price cookie cutter formula um that curly sense he watched last week did another video and said blue day chanel was better i agree blue day chanel is better it is better he should have called it minimal office probably smells good but no it's not riley uh it, it does smell good it's not a bad smelling scent but you guys are going to look at your collection and be like i have so many other things on my shelf that smell better than this how can he call this like the greatest fragrance of all time, the greatest office fragrance of all time? Get the fuck out of here. Aqua Digio fucking DDT'd office for men and still has to this day. I just don't understand. I just don't get it. I think Jeremy's own hype ruined it for me. Would it bomb an office out within the first two hours? Maybe if you drop the bottle on the ground. It, it is BP. Um, ISO E Super really gets the more synthetic. I always I said this early on. Um when I started doing videos like 2011 ish, I said the, the more synthetic of fragrance, the more compliments it gets from women and people that don't know fragrances. <laughs> Daddy. Like not to talk shit, but is so Jeremy fragrance is all hype. So like he's not as good. It's not he's not as polarizing as people talk about him. People just hype him up and build up this like monster, this unstoppable iron giant. And then once you face it, it's almost like uh, the dog in the Sandlot, the Beast. Remember the Beast? And then when you finally meet the Beast, you're like, what the fuck? Or uh, Stand by Me, favorite movie of all time. Look at that, Chopper, sick bulls. Have any of you ever seen that? Chop is sick bulls. Um, it was just like built up so much that when I finally faced it, it just kind of shrank. You know, it's just shrunk. Uh, 
That's Chopper? Exactly, high cap. Did the pony like it? It's like a good boxer that lacks the knockout punch. Prada Luna Rosa. Absolutely. What about Chanel Eagle West? Platinum Eagle West. Absolutely. I still think um, I'd rather wear the Dua. Yeah, no shit. No shit. I would wear Casino Royale over this. Just because it, it's in that. And people complain about that for being $60 and then talking about like the whole, you could get the back rev. No, no, fuck that. Stone Cold Stunner the best. Yeah, that stunner was pretty good. I, yeah, he was, Brad. Um, so with that being said, guys, I mean, there's my first impression of Office for Men. I guess I'll do a video. Maybe I'll film it tomorrow. I want to watch what you said, uh, Curly, that Curly had a fuck, the one that dances in intros. I want to watch her. What did she? So she said Blue Day Chanel smelled better than Savage or Better than Fragrance One. Yo, got knocked out by a little chubby Mexican. I love it. I'm trying to think of ways to make fun of you and compliment Juju's cakes at the same time. I don't know, Danny. Just uh, enjoy the live stream, bro. Come on. Honey, they're looking at your cake. They are. They keep talking about it. I don't know what to do. Leave me alone, <laughs> Leave me alone she said. Do it at about 100 ml is about the same. Yeah, it's not bad, Ju. It's just boring. Do you feel like he hyped it up too much? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of 3 a.m. by Sean John. Like, I get a very heavy, like, citrus and ambroxan with the ice, ice OE super. Um, X batch intense. Coach for Men, Dylan Blue, Blue Day Chanel, um, Aqua Essenziale, uh, is that what it's called, by Salvatore Fargamo? You put a summer list out? No, Curly wasn't impressed with it. She is showing off the cake on purpose. Maybe she is. Joey, I'm going to take all the guys out to the club. We got some guys with blue bowls in the street. I think so, Chris. Yo, to be oof, shit. Mama Cannoli? I'll try to catch Mama Cannoli one day and ask her her opinion. Yeah, Duplo. Um, I have a 6.7 ounce of Curve down there. Like Curve Original. I, But that's a polarizing scent. That's like one of the most popular fragrances ever made. It stood the test of time. Everyone knows Liz Claiborne's Curve. I don't think Fragrance One Office for Men is going to ever be on that spectrum. It's just not. Yo, that's a good idea. Let me tell you boys something. Let me tell you boys something. If you want to support your boy on Patreon, you know, your boy Joey Cannoli, The Office for Men Review, The Office for Men Review. I gave the people what they wanted because I love the people so much. That's all it's about. Support your boy on Patreon. Zoom in on the cakes for the donations. I wish I could zoom in with the camera, but I can't. But I can kind of like... Two hundred ml of Sauvage and two hundred. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Joy, you're here, son of a bitch. Curve is timeless. Very sexy for him. It's timeless. That's a uh, Victoria's Secret. Eternity. Dior Fahrenheit. Absolutely. Everyone support. Even one dollar a month. Don't be fucking assholes. Yeah, I'd rather wear Amanda Micker's bath water than that, Frank. Yeah. If you want to support your boy on Patreon, I greatly appreciate it. Um. And once again, to all you guys that have sent sent me anything, including Office for Men, if it wasn't for you, this would never be. You guys are the fucking bee's knees. Thank you for listening to me always talk shit. Thank you for always letting me talk shit. I enjoy our crazy, you know, filter-free 
chaotic conversations we have. I'm glad that you guys showed up for this. And to the 20, you know, or 15 people that we lost, maybe more, you know, you should leave this up for a day or two. I will. I am going to leave it up, but I also do want to shoot a proper video. I love your live feeds. I always look forward to them. Thank you, Martin. We are, you guys are the tits. Fuck yes. And you'd get the, exactly, Chris. And that's why I always talk about it. Um, That's why I did my Patreon for you guys who don't know. Do you really think my channel would be monetized in 2019 with the way I talk, the things I say, let alone my parodies? I'd get hit with third party copyright. I wouldn't see a fucking dime. Oh, uh, yeah, I talk shit. You guys bring the charm and ultra. Anything helps. Anything helps your boy. But I definitely get some coffee and Juju next time so she can join us. I'll have Juju in the actual review for you guys. But um, I want to do, don't forget your clap, spin and face melting video. What if I just spray it on, clap, and spin in front of, like, random women and, like, film their reaction? Yeah, it's really hard nowadays, Chris. Um, you get demonetized for even things that aren't inappropriate now. So imagine this, you know. But yeah, guys, that was Fragrance One Office for Men, made in Germany. Jeremy Fragrance's polarizing fragrance that's taken the YouTube fragrance community by storm. I know I'm a minority. Yo, Demi Rollins, uh, camel toe for men. Before you know what's going on, do some push-ups. Yeah, I am being honest. And I will. I'll give you my honest opinion on Jeremy real quick. You know? Um, the guy makes it really easy for you not to like him. Um, he is entertaining to watch. A lot of guys are just going to hate on him over the jealousy, and, and I, I do get that. But he made a fragrance. He hyped it up way too much. Very lackluster. Um, legit, honest, kudos to him for making a scent. That's amazing. I wish I could one day make a fragrance. Um, so I do I do find that really cool. Like when John Kerosene did his, his was more artistic and, and – uh, you know, niche like quality, also expensive, but his stuff smells fucking like, oh shit. You know, you give it a whiff and you're like, I'm glad I invested in this. Like the Nazis that never ages a law. I got a new bank card. I don't know if I'm still dating the patron. Can you check? Uh not jealousy, he's a jerk off. Yeah, he does he like I said, he makes it very easy for for people not to like him, but like he is some somehow he became the Kardashian of the Fraycom, where whether you love him or hate him, any publicity is good publicity, and he just keeps getting more and more popular. Big ups on him, you know, because if that if I were in his shoes and I was pulling in all this, I'm sure people would hate me. I mean, listen to the way I talk, you know, the way I do things. Could you imagine the hate I would get if I was mass appealed on this channel? You got a new bank card. I will check. Decent fragrance was not what we are looking for. Dude, he puts a target on his own ass, but no matter what, he spun some gold from straw. Yeah, when Jeremy started calling his viewers to Fragrance Army, he was the leader. Yeah, it got weird. Exactly. People click. He he did he did everything of the cookie cutter formula that he needed to to be successful. Because I always say, not to shit on the guy, um, yes, he's a good-looking guy, but there's a million good-looking guys out there like that that aren't successful. So what is it about Jeremy that he was able to seep through the cracks into the success realm of YouTube? I, I don't know. I don't know. If Joey and Jeremy had a baby, it would be Kubano. Fuck. I... Uh, I don't know. I don't hate the guy. This is probably you guys are going to see on here. I'm just telling you the truth. Not biased. Um, I was almost kind of rooting for him in a way because I'm like, okay, if you're going to really hype your shit up, you got to deliver. 
It's almost like the boxer that talks all the shit and then gets his ass knocked out in the first round. Disappointing. All bark and no bite. Yo, very hairy. Let, let's fucking go. He brought fragrances to the masses. That's exactly it. He's got the drive. Just a few days ago, he reviewed Till and Blue. No bong rips. Not tonight. Not tonight. Fragrance one. I am excited to do a... Dude, take a bong rip. I am excited to do a uh, out and about reaction video while wearing Office for Men. Because I know it's going to do well. That's the thing. I, I live in Little Rock, Arkansas. I love when an arrogant boxer gets put on his, put on his ass. That's what I mean. Martin, I live in Wisconsin. We are currently in Wisconsin. It never did anything for me the whole time it was on my on my skin. Um, smells nice. Didn't really. Yes, cheese. Didn't really do anything. Exactly, high cap. Yo, Door County Coffee is fantastic. What did my initial face look, guys, when I finally sprayed it on my skin when we had 50 viewers? Be honest. What was my, like natural reaction because i'm sure you guys were watching me like a fucking hawk when are we gonna see your collection i can do a collection video soon all right joe i'm out brother see you on the next one thanks for the follow my guy sorry for talking like shit yo no worries man i thanks for following me man i appreciate it and i chris thank you for being a cannoli mafia fucking Patreon supporter. You're the you're the real OG. Yeah, not impressed. Like you couldn't get a hard on. Fuck. I always say people's facial facial expressions say it all. That first impression. Like when it when it finally hit me, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> like this is the big hype. It's like um, you hear your parents talking about how they're going to buy you a car and you think you're going to get like a 20 fucking 19 Audi and then you get like a 2006 fucking Prius. Yes. I blame it on Jeremy. I think he hyped up his scent too much and really got me like fucking like geeked for it like a baby Ruth floating in the pool <laughs> you guys are too much office for men absolutely Chris I will uh I'll always go live for you guys she's sleeping she's knocked Martin I can't stop smelling it, and I don't mean that in like a, oh, it smells so good. I can't stop smelling it because I'm just, I'm trying to dissect this fucking thing. But like everything I smell is just common. How can people make such a big fucking deal over this? I don't get it. I don't get it. How's the dry down?
if you watered down the opening, I don't think it, unless it hasn't dried down yet, it's just, it's become very, uh, it's become a skin scent. I still smell that initial top note. What did he say? Something about like the fragrance is like a punch in the face. It's really strong. The best way to describe Office for Men. Said it would melt your face. You know, Lone by YSL is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Yeah, it's gonna be like the Iron Man suit. Well, guess what? Spoiler alert, guys, if you haven't seen it, uh, that's not a good thing. I actually wish I could, like, talk to Jeremy and, like, you know, run into him or even talk to, me, talk to him over the computer or something. I sprayed it the same time you did. Like I said before, it becomes a skin scent in an hour. Yeah. It's already done. So I've been doing a live stream for an hour and a half, and I probably didn't spray the fragrance until, like, what, 40 minutes in? 30? What do you guys think? what these motherfuckers that were reviewing his fragrance talking all this crazy chaotic shit i want to know why they were like afraid i don't want to say they were necessarily kissing his ass but it was almost like they were afraid to uh just catfish him with a titty account i'll just push my fucking cleavage go yeah exactly martin i don't smell anything I thought the projection in the scent cloud was going to be huge because I, I was smelling the box and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh, this might be really powerful shit, but this isn't even, I don't smell it to, here, look, I smell it right now. Do you see my fucking schnoz touching my hand? I smell it right there for the views, Joey. Well, listen, Alberto has made some phenomenal fragrances, but they can't all be winners. It shouldn't be disrespectful to be like, yeah, that one was a dud. Not every song you make is a fucking triple platinum hit. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not a classic. And that's what fragrance one is to me. Erwin fucking Creed wants to do a collab. If I were to make a fragrance, it would definitely be sweet. It would be something that women would turn around and go, who the fuck smells so good? Hands down. I told you that. Cannoli cream. Come on. You want something that's going to that's gonna make you turn around when you get hit with that scent trail and go, who the fuck smells so good? This isn't that fragrance. You're not gonna turn around and be like, yo, something smells delicious. Like, it's just citrus and ambroxan. That's it. And then it settled down so fucking quick. I have not tried sure fuck. I know Mikas has. <laughs>
So, boys, with that being said, thank you all so very much for being a part of this iconic first impression. I'm glad you guys got to watch it raw, you know, because you never know when you watch those videos if it's all rehearsed or staged or what. This was legit raw. Um, that's it. Fragrance one, office for men. Average at best. Nothing to write home about. Nothing to shit on either, though. Problem is, I own way too many fragrances that uh, I'm hoping a booger flies out of my nose to make this live stream more entertaining. Um, there's nothing about it that's going to be so monumental that it's going to fucking blow every des successful designer house away. Excuse me, you want me to join a fra fragrance group? Ooh. So, yeah, guys, should I do a first and not a first impression? Should I do snot rocket would get subs? Should I do a proper review on Office for Men? You said if you got a sample, the video would be epic. I agree. I felt like my trailer was pretty fucking epic. I just feel like the first impression, it was so lackluster that like, I can make, I can, I'll make it entertaining. I'll make it good for you guys. But like, it's just... Yeah, let's up the, re the views. Do a review, but with the ladies' reactions. Exactly. That's what I want to do. But I'm going to hop off, guys. I think I'm going to go to bed. This, this fragrance has exhausted me. My gears have been turning so hard, and I've been looking at Julissa's cake that I can't focus on the scent. I can't. It's just like bergamot, like just citrus and... I thought it was going to be a lot more sharp than it is. I thought it was kind of going to be like a little inoffensive on first application, but it wasn't. It was like, hey, this is me. Mediocre Mike. I will go to the gay bar with it. I bet, I bet they'll say that it's too, like, there's too much of one note. Like, probably smack them cakes, you know. I'm going to dream that this... Turned out better than it did. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna dream about. So there you guys have it. That was my office for men. Is it just Woody now? Yeah, just a basic. And what was it called? Modern Woods. No, just another basic Woody masculine men dry down from a clean citrus frag. Nothing groundbreaking here, boys. You gotta find hot ladies to review. Juice will be first and find the rest of the Mola gym. You got it. <sighs> Walk into a random office, be like, yo, I'm Ted from finance. Get that crazy big chested girl from karaoke to react to Jeremy's favorite. <laughs> Modern wood at the gay bar. Love that. If you can't sleep, count this spins. It's fucking hilarious. Modern shit. But all right, guys. I will probably pop out a video tomorrow. Probably not the Office for Men video. But I will pop something out. Maybe I'll do another live stream. I really appreciate all you guys waiting for us to get 50 viewers so that I could do the initial impression. You guys are awesome for sticking around this whole time. But I'm going to call it a night. Go to bed. I feel like my trailer for this scent was m more enjoyable than the actual fragrance.
I feel like I overhyped the fragrance just by making the video that I did. But I'm going to go to bed, guys. You guys have a great night. Thank you. I will see you again. You should, Martin. Yo, thanks, Fragrance Runner. Appreciate it, Dan, as always. Thank you for sharing in the groups. You guys have a good night. I will talk to you later. I am going to leave this video up for a couple days, and then eventually I'll probably make it private or delete it because it's just, it's like, thanks, guys. I'm Sweet dreams. It was fun. I just felt like it was very, uh, yeah. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Jeremy Fragrance. What a time to be alive.